Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you guys how to create music visuals on your stream for Twitch, Mixer, and or YouTube. So two things you're going to need is OBS Studios and Plane 9. Plane 9 is a free source that you can download at plane9.com. Once you go and hit the free download, go through and accept the stuff, there's going to be a section of a bunch of boxes you can check or uncheck. Uncheck them all. You don't need all of the extra additives, okay? So... Now I'm going to show you guys exactly what you guys need to do to make it work. So here's OBS. Once you guys have downloaded everything, now you need to go to configure plane nine. If you can't find it right there under recently added, then um, just look it up. Once you do that, it'll bring up your source. I'm going to minimize it for you guys. That way you guys aren't seeing like a full screen of it because it will be really confusing. So here's all the different visuals that this provides. Um, there are all different ones. Like, you know, some of these are really cool and stuff like that. Um, put a better music. So a little bit more upbeat. The one I found I liked is I typed in uh, spectrum. And that came up with the block spectrum one. Once you find the visual you like, you need to go and hit create a playlist. Once you've created a playlist, it'll have a zero. So, no, I don't want to do that yet. So, you'll have the zero. Find the one you like. There's a little check mark. Check it. It'll throw it into that playlist. Next, you'll have to click on this button, and it'll bring up the visual. You can move that out of your way. That way, you're good to go. That will have to be up any time that you have your stream going. That will be the plane nine window that has to be up on your PC. Okay. So now that we have that, we'll go down and we'll go and we'll create the source. So in here, you need to go to game capture because if you do it any other way, any other time that you shut it off um, or change windows, it'll turn it off. Um, if you went to display capture, you would have to have it on that screen. Whereas not everybody streams it that way. So game capture seems to work the best. Go and name it whatever you want. We'll just name it Audio 2. Now, at this point, your mode, you need to pick uh, the capture specific window. And then your window, you'll have Plane 9 configure and then Plane 9, you want the Plane 9. Okay? That will bring up your visual. So now you have your visual, okay? So, yeah, okay, that's a little big. There's a background to it. So, one of the cool things that you can do is you can either hit transparency and it's transparent, or you can, um, we'll, we'll take the transparency off. We'll show you guys. You can go into your filters. Filter, you can go into your uh, color key. And here you can make a custom color. And since it's black in the background, you can go black and at least like a black shadow. Um, or you can go like this and you can remove all black from the background. All your choice on how you want to do it. So if you do it that way and you're like, hey, cool, that works, you know, awesome. So the other thing you can do is you can change the color of it. But you have to make sure you make it a different name to it now on this one you just take your brightness and you go all the way up if you want it to be fully white you're gonna have to add more than one color key you have to add two color keys to make it fully white okay so there's your white with the with everything else your next move is if you want white you know cool white doesn't look too bad but it blends in with a lot of other colors so what I did is go back into your filters add a color correction is what you're going to want to do down at the bottom you go to your color if you want we'll do a purple now your stuff's purple you can either leave it that color or you um you can take the correction and you can knock the visual down and make it see-through you know however you want to do it you can mess with it and figure out what works the best for you i did 75 on mine the next move is, is to make it a little bit smaller. So you grab the little dot at the top, hold down the shift key, and pull that down a little bit. Making it on the very bottom of the screen. I apologize for my son. <laughs> um, 
but there's your your visual and you can see it now like that um yeah now we have a commercial so you can really see it at action with the commercial sorry um the other cool thing that i really liked about the uh, obs is here if you don't want it on the bottom you can transform it and you can make it vertical moving it vertical you can move it back up to the top and you can have it as your top one now so no matter how you have it you'll see it on the top of your screen so hopefully that helps um you can change it to any color like i said that you want that you prefer um not all of those visuals have to be used um but you can you can choose your visual if you're going to use one that has um a little bit more in depth like this one where it's got the white and stuff um you'll have to do the chroma key like how i did uh the very first one when i when i messed with that and i did the custom color um to the the that and it was the black background so it removed the black then you'll have to do another one and slowly but surely remove the white because it'll take the white out of the um the equation it takes a little bit of working with and you may have you may find that you have four or five different color keys on there to get rid of that some people like having it because some of the uh some of the white goes along with the music at the same time so it's all in preference of what you guys want but i will drop the links in the bio for everything that you guys need and hopefully that helped you guys out uh you guys have a great day